Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Allison and I'm dropping in to share with you a new Project Life layout that I created. It is a hybrid layout, so that means I printed all my pictures at home and I also typed my journaling on the computer and then printed it on plain white cardstock and then I embellished using physical products. I also decided to I uh, designed this layout in Cricut Design Space before I even sat down to put it together just so that I had a general idea of where I wanted to go with this layout um, to avoid getting stuck as I was creating. So what I'm doing right now is just adhering all my photos to my pictures. The pictures, these ones on the 3x4 cards measure roughly two and three quarters inches wide by one and three quarters inches tall. And then on the four by six cards that I'm just working on right now, the photo measures roughly three, uh, probably about three inches by three and three quarters inches long or tall. So here I was thinking that I would use some really old stickers I have had in my stash for quite a while. I was going to use them to create sort of a title card, or it's really just a filler card uh, to begin with because the title card is up in the top left-hand corner with the date and the week number, which by the way, this is week three of my Project Life layouts. <laughs> and... After I got it done, uh, you'll see in a little bit that it just was not jiving. And I'll show you how I fixed that later on. So I did use one of the stickers off of this sticker sheet. In the end, it's just a tiny little uh, banner that has a heart on it. It's white and it's going on that photo right there. Then I was looking for other stickers or things that I could fill in the spaces in the bottom of the journal cards. And I pulled out my Tim Holtz stickers and decided to use those. I really hummed and hawed for a while trying to figure out whether I wanted to use white ones or a different color. I never even thought of using the black and then on a whim thought that I'd pull the black ones out. And it actually works really well because it coordinates with the black and white photos in the center of my spread. Don't be afraid to use black and white if you think that they are going to be too bold for your layout. More often than not, it probably won't be. And that's originally why I hesitated to use them because I thought it would be too bold, but it actually works really well. I did decide to incorporate some colored phrase stickers into my layout as well. And I turned to Simple Stories for that. I'm going to have to double check the sticker book that I pulled these out of. I'm not sure um, what collection it came from. But it was after I pulled in the Simple Stories that I really began to feel like the 3x4 printed journal card that I have in the center of the layout, the blue one, and then the filler card in the bottom left, the 4x6, just did not work. The colors weren't working together and they weren't jiving. And you'll see me sit for a minute and kind of hum and haw over what I want to do. And... Before I make an actual decision, I'm going to glue a little chipboard piece from Ellie Edwards onto the photo of the geese in the top left-hand corner. Right now, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to put onto the 3x4 or the other 4x6-inch card at the bottom of the layout. I did pull out another um, Simple Story sticker, and here you could see me hold that sticker over top of the blue journal card. It was not going to work. For some reason, I had a white journal card slipped behind it in the pocket. I don't know why I did that, but it was serendipitous because I pulled the blue one out. I will save that for another layout. And I stuck this sticker right in the center of the white piece of cardstock and left it at that. I thought it was perfect. So I'm going to glue this little chipboard piece now. I'm just using my tweezers to help get my fingers out of the way and keep them from getting all sticky. I'll put that towards the top of the photo and then I will throw all the cards back into the pocket and I'll start working on an insert that I thought that I would include in this layout as well. But first, I forgot, I do swap out that bottom filler card that I'm not so crazy about with another 
journal card. I went through my stash of journal cards, pulled out a few that I thought would work with the rest of the colors in the journal cards that I had in the layout now that I had played with it and found a direction that I wanted to go in. And I settle on to the first one that says our greatest adventure with a little bit of green in the bottom right hand corner. And then the other one that says the best day with all those bright colors. I really, really liked the best day journal card. I didn't add anything to it. I left it as it was. And I really liked that it pulled red from the top left hand of the layout down to the bottom right. And you'll see when I work on the insert, which is coming up right now, I add red and white twine. That will also function as a way to pull in a little bit more of that red and tie the two pieces together. But of course, I'm beginning with adding my photos onto the journal cards. And then once that's done, I'm going to work on another filler card that I decided to add to the journal spot. I added these uh, filler cards because I didn't have enough pictures to fill all the pockets between the, um, what is this called? Oh, geez. <laughs> Get it together, Allie. Um, the additional pocket. Uh, I thought that I would use uh, these tags. This blue tag that I'm cutting apart right now is from Simple Stories. And actually, I think the white one that is lying on my desk right now is also Simple Stories as well. But I'm going to adhere them together after I punch a hole in the top of this tag. I'm going to layer that one over top of it and then in the end glue them together. But before that, I glued this one directly to the 4x6 journal card. Uh, which is from close to my heart. I'm using like everything here, friends, to create this layout and I love it. Use your stash. And it felt so good to dive in and get a bunch of stuff used up and from all different places as well. Even the twine that I'm using right now is uh, American Crafts. I think I've had it in my stash for eons and I finished off the roll today with this layout, which is pretty great as well. I do struggle with the bow for quite a while to get one of the, um, to get it to lay nicely, basically. Uh, in the end, I do succeed. And in the end, putting it back into the pocket helps keep it in place as well. But you're going to see me play with it for a while. Um, it was the most frustrating part of this process, I will tell you that. So when that is done, I'm going to glue this littler tag to obviously the one below it so it all stays together and isn't flopping around. And then I'm going to glue a little blue leaf that came from a die cut pack also from Pink Fresh Studio. And it's going to go over top of the um, black and white striped tag. If my voice sounds funny, it's because it is. Uh, I'm just getting over an infection, I think. I think I uh, was hit with sinusitis and I'm on the upward swing, but I'm still not 100% there. So if it sounds like my voice is coming in and out, it totally is. And that's why. So there I'm getting the journal card back into the pocket and I'm going to glue the two um, photos and journalings down at the bottom just so that they're not moving around inside the pocket and you can see one peeking out from behind the other. It's just going to keep them together a little bit. I was going to throw it into the pocket and then decided to add some more fray stickers to at least this side of the photo as well. It's going to be on the back side of the insert here. Once again, I turn to Tim Holtz and I'm adding a black fray sticker. It's going to go right in the center of the photo there. Kind of hide my vacuum cleaner a little bit. And I do, I think that's about it, quite honestly, friends. Once I get these back into the pockets, um, oh, I do add one more phrase sticker down at the bottom of this card right here. And it says something along the lines of um, how freaking amazing you are, something along those lines. You'll see it in the close-ups, which are coming up right now. I wanna welcome all my new subscribers. I'm so glad that you're here. I hope you find inspirational things on my channel if you do give me a thumbs up and a like and if you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed i'd love to have you a friend here as well take care friends and i will be back again soon